What about a low carbohydrate diet that was vegan or, or plant-based? Would that be helpful to somebody? Right. You, you can't do that without eating a lot of oil in your diet, I don't think. But you could explain to me if that's possible. And oil is a processed food that doesn't contain phytochemicals or antioxidants. And what I'm saying here is that the more low nutrient food you eat, the shorter your life span, and the more calories you eat, the shorter your lifespan. So in order to extend human lifespan and get to be 100 years old with type 1 diabetes, let's say, then you have to um, eat a diet with lots of foods that are, low, that are naturally lower in calories and reduce foods that have, more, that have a higher caloric density, right? So now, especially if they have a low nutrient density. So oil is your perfect food to be an example of. It's 120 calories a tablespoon, and there's no fiber, and there's no significant load of micronutrients and anti of, phyto of vitamins and minerals, and there's no significant load of antioxidants and phytochemicals. So we're taking in calories without any benefit, without any significant benefit. It would be much better if we took those calories and, and also the more calories we take in, the faster our metabolic rate is. Let me give an example, okay? Let's say I was serving a buffet in my house right behind me. And I had 50 people walk into the buffet on the left side and when they walked in the room, I gave them an apple to eat. They would take 65 calories less at the buffet because the apple filled them up with nutrients and fiber and fluid, and they'd feel they'd eat 65 calories less vegetables and less corn and less peas and less, and less um, beans and less um, food on the buffet. In the other line, on the right side, I gave another 50 people came in, and I gave them a tablespoon of olive oil or coconut oil and 120 calories a tablespoon. Because there's no fiber and no bulk and no nutrients to, to curl their appetite, they would eat 120 calories more than the people eating the apple. Or we could say they wouldn't cut back on the amount of calories they ate the meal, they eat the same amount of calories. Because oil doesn't shut off the apostat like an apple does. There's no reduction of apostat in oil. Matter of fact, the studies show when you add oil to the food, it actually increases the craving to eat more calories. So people will eat 120 calories from the oil and they'll eat an extra 50 calories they wouldn't have eaten if the food was not oiled. So, they'll eat more. so now they had 170 calories more than having the, the person who had the apple. So the oil precipitated overeating. They overeat over eight calories. And did they get any significant micronutrient, higher micronutrient density from the oil? No, because, you know, if they, ha if they had some nuts and seeds, let's say they had a half an ounce of nuts and seeds, right? A half an ounce of sunflower seeds or walnuts or sesame seeds, that half an ounce would be, let's say, 70 five to 80 calories. Let's say it's 75 calories, okay? They would decrease the meal by 75 calories, but those 75 calories would not all be absorbed in the bloodstream because the fiber and resistance, the fiber and sterols and stanols in the nuts and seeds act like fat magnets and they hold on to fat so tightly that they carry fat out into the toilet bowl. So out of that 75 calories, maybe only 65 or 60 maybe only 60 calories were absorbed out of the 75. You didn't even get all 75. Some of them pulled fat out. The fat was pulled out into the toilet. And it actually extracts fat so tightly that it pulls out oxidized LDL and saturated fat. It pulls out bad fats in the toilet. But now these nuts and seeds with their fats that are adherent to fiber and to sterols are absorbed so slowly into the bloodstream over a period of three to four hours. So the body can burn it for energy. When you had the coconut oil, the olive oil, there's no fiber to slow the absorption. It's not a whole food, so those oils are absorbed in five to 10 minutes. The, food, the calories rushing into the bloodstream so rapidly now, it interferes with, with the, it, it makes you insulin resistant. It makes the pancreas have to secrete more insulin for the same amount of carbohydrate in the meal. It revs up fat storage hormone. It exacerbates the effect of the negativity of insulin in the sense that it's making you, it's promoting fat storage more now, and it's promoting angiogenesis. So it makes whatever you're doing worse. So what I'm saying right now is sesame seed oil has a different biological effect compared to sesame seeds. The sesame seeds are considerably lower in calories, but they're absorbed in a different biological way. They take hours to be absorbed. Now, when you get a little bit of fat, a half an ounce of fat in the meal from sesame seeds, or walnuts, you might have increased the phytochemical absorption of the meal by five to tenfold, because now the antioxidants and phytochemicals from the greens and from the onions and from the mushrooms, some of these phytochemicals 
have a little bit of fat in the meal increases their absorption by five to tenfold. So we got a tremendous benefit from a little bit of fat from the nuts and seeds, whereas the oil, you've got neg mostly negative effects.